I warn you girls, if you're naughty, any of you, there will be trouble. Is it understood? Yes, Aunt Shelby. Clear as a bell. Good. Now, off you both go and play, and behave yourselves. Those girls are good. Well, most of the time. So, Molly, what should we play first? Have a pretend tea party? How about if we play dollhouse, should we? Playing dollhouse? That's childish. And so is pretend tea parties. Dollhouses are for five-year-olds. Pretend tea parties are for four-year-olds. Shut up, you disagreeable little slut. What? Little? That's an understatement. I'm a year older than you, Millie. So, you girls thought it'll be a good idea to lie to me and ignore my warning? How dare you both? It's not like that, Mum. It's exactly like that. You both are arguing, and that's very naughty. I have to separate you two immediately. But... No buts. Molly Danielle Barrett, you're staying in here, because it's your room, and you, Millicent Tabitha Barrett Jr., you sit on the stairs until your mother comes to pick you up after when I call her. You are very naughty girls. Grounded again. Not my fault. It's entirely your fault, Molly. Be quiet, both of you. You both owed as much fault as each other. Time out is meant for reflecting on your bad behaviors. This is unfair. What are you doing here? I told you to sit on the stairs. Well, it's kind of a surprise to you, but I'm ten, not two. Two-year-olds sit on the stairs, not ten-year-olds. And you're very naughty. How dare you speak to me like that, and disobey me. Two-year-olds disobey what adults tell them when being punished, not ten-year-olds. But Aunt Shelby, Molly started the argument. I don't care who started it, all I know is that you were involved in it as well. I expect Molly to misbehave like this, but you, certainly not. Whatever happened to walking away? Millicent Tabitha Barat Jr., your Aunt Shelby told me over the phone that you and Molly got into an argument. She certainly was, Lizzie. Thanks to that, I separated them. But Millie refuses to sit on the stairs. Millie, you do not disobey your Aunt Shelby when she tells you to do something. I bet you could find that this is my house, and I make all the rules here. So, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry, Aunt Shelby. Now I see sense about all of this. I'll stop. Good girl. You're off the hook. Let's go home, Millie. Now to go up and check on Molly.